Hey Capricorn, so as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a reading for all Capricorn placements, okay? So Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Mars, or North Node, it really doesn't matter, love. If you in any way at all identify as a Capricorn, then this reading is for you, all right? Capricorn. Hmm... Let us see. Thank you, Spirit. What are the messages here for our Capricorns? What are the messages? Thank you, Spirit. For our Capricorns. We have submission. Okay, submit. We have karma. Okay. Somebody here could be feeling like they're dealing with karma, facing karma. Okay, I mean, submit. Um, it could be because you did not want to submit. You did not want to release control. You get what I'm saying? It could also be that you just period, point blank, you know, need to release control right here and now. Um, or something like that. You could be wondering why it, are you going through something? It could be due to karma. You get what I'm saying? Um, it is what it is. Don't send me no hate. We got the six chakra here in reverse. Yeah, so it's like somebody is going through things and not seeing why they're going through things. But I think you know why you're going through things. You get what I'm saying? We have journey here in reverse. Yeah, because somebody will not make their mind up. Or somebody in the past did not make their mind up. So I feel like here and now, that's exactly what you're doing. You're making your mind up so that you can, like, avoid certain towers or avoid certain decisions um but it seems like it's going to happen anyway the longer you take to make a decision or the more so you avoid something um the more karma is going to come about okay <clears throat> now this is not true capricorn you know if somebody t you know connected to you then put yourself wherever you go but i shouldn't have to keep saying that throughout the reading it's not a personal just put yourself wherever you go okay We have the emperor so the masculine energy in this situation uh queen of pentacles your energy could also be another earth sign another capricorn such as yourself virgo or a taurus okay <clears throat> but this is the masculine to this queen of pentacles some way shape from a fashion that person is getting karma right now or they're in a relationship with a karmic whichever way it goes we have the knight of swords here okay so yeah the knight of swords is somebody who's speaking their truth they're on a mission of sharing their truth they got a message to deliver okay some things that they've been holding on their chest six of pentacles equally yoked so i feel like this this emperor this masculine has been holding back okay has not been speaking up on things they really want to say six of pentacles because they're giving and taking with a karmic justice card like i said so it's things they really want to speak up on things they really want to do they might also want to come towards you with this journey card but they can't do that because they're stuck in a karmic situation see justice so with the seven of wands here it's like spirit is saying um if you want something go for it and decision in reverse like i said with storm warning here it's only a matter of time before whatever foundation you've been building up gets knocked down and it's not to say that that's what spirit wants for you spirit doesn't want that for you spirit just wants everything to be right spirit just wants everything to be fair spirit wants everything to be just okay so if something was being built up and it wasn't supposed to be being built up and spirit has asked multiple times make the adjustments make the adjustments make the adjustments and you like okay i'm gonna do it okay i know where i'm supposed to be okay i hear my heart talking okay i hear you spirit and you don't do anything well that's what's gonna happen okay nobody's doing it to you you get what i'm saying so let us see y'all we have the three of pentacles yeah so what's on your mind cooperating cooperating with who somebody from the past five of cups okay we have the nine of swords this is something that stays on your mind or something that stays on their mind once again put yourself wherever you go we have the five of wands a lot of internal conflict could also be a lot of people competing for your or their attention we have the tower once again that's that storm warning energy when spirit has been asking us to make a certain type of adjustment and we say okay spirit i got you i'm gonna do it all right no problem and we never do it then spirit comes in and knocks it down because who spirit is is our parent spirits not to be played with it's not a joke you know we're not going to tell god yeah i got you i'm gonna do xyz and never do it that's just not how it's going to work 
So we have the Nine of Pentacles here, okay? So this is like um, independence, okay? So some of you have um, either somebody is viewing you as very independent and secure. This is how you're viewing someone, very independent, very secure. All right, we have the Hermit energy. Somebody went ghost. So whether that be you, whether that be them, somebody went ghost. You can expect to hear from this person very, very soon. Okay, it's the Page of Wands here. Okay, this is exciting news, good news, okay, or something like that. The Page of Swords is a spy. So somebody definitely keeps their eye on you or you keep your eye on someone and you like what you see, whichever way it goes. Okay, put yourself whichever side. But we have temperance. So Spirit is saying it's only a matter of time, okay, four of wands before <clears throat> you come into union or, be or something like that. Because like I said, the masculine energy is here. The four of wands energy is here. We have twins that are coming into union. Once a karmic cycle is complete, that is what's going on, period. We have submission. So either this is you submitting to someone because you're the emperor and emperors don't submit, right? But you would submit to your empress, you get what I'm saying, as your empress would submit to you. So put yourself whichever side you go, whether you're the masculine or you're the feminine. Um, it looks like somebody's going to be submitting to you or you're going to be submitting to somebody, okay? So let us see here. <clears throat> Both of them. <laughs> Okay, what do we have? We have the Knight of Wands. We have the Four of Swords. Okay, yeah, so this is action being taken, okay, because something brings you peace of mind, okay? It keeps you balanced. You don't feel balanced otherwise. You get what I'm saying? We have the Six Chakra here. It's like somebody is trying to communicate with spirit what to do. You're intuitively being told what to do. You're seeing visions. You're seeing that. Somebody might be trying to block it out just because whatever is required of them to do is a lot of work. So they don't want to do it. You get what I'm saying? Because, oh, I'm going to have to hurt somebody. Oh, I'm going to have to. Who cares? You get what I'm saying? So as long as you're not hurt. We have the emperor here. The emperor is being clarified by the high priestess. So you already know that this person is going to be communicating with you soon. Or if this is you, you intuitively know that there needs to be conversation. Okay? Or something like that. But I feel like the devil, that's fear. But it's also your energy. Fear is preventing you from saying certain things, doing certain things. It could also be preventing that person from saying and doing certain things. But it definitely feels like you. We have the Knight of Swords here, the Magician. Yeah, because you know that you can manifest something. You're this Magician, the Ace of Cups. This is what you want to manifest. But for whatever reason or another, it's like, like I said, somebody is stuck or caught up in this karmic situation. They feel bad. They feel guilty or something like that. But this is the perfect match, match situation for them. But they feel bad about it or they feel guilty about it. So they run away from it or something. We have Justice here. Okay, what is this Justice card, Spirit? <clears throat> For our Capricorns, the Ace of Wands, but it's about to be a sudden change, okay? It's about to be a sudden change, all uh, right? I feel like suddenly you're going to be like, okay, I know what to do and you're going to do it. Or suddenly you get the urge to complete the cycle. Two of Wands is a decision to make. It looks like you're leaning more so towards one thing than the other. That's that indecision here. Yeah, because... <sighs> You see yourself as strong enough. You see yourself as capable enough. Somebody's pride and ego could also be um, tripping them up or, or getting them stuck or whatever right now. We have the Three of Pentacles. Okay, what is this, Spirit? Three of Pentacles, blue wall, blue aura. Haha. <laughs> but no, so cooperating with someone, working on the same team, on the same page. What is this? All right, we have the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, so this could be new. All right, but exciting. Okay, at the same time, we have the two of swords here. So it's like um, being impartial. You know what you should do. You have deep feelings or, or deep truth or deep secrets or something. We have the ten of swords. This is an abrupt ending. All right, so something needs to come to an end abruptly. You get what I'm saying? Um, we got the nine of swords. <clears throat> Somebody thinks about you all the time or you think about this person all the time. Somebody's having trouble sleeping here. All right. We have the five of wands. Once again, that internal conflict. This could also be arguing and shit like that that's going on around you. But we have the lovers. Okay. So divine counterparts are surely here on the board. We have the nine of pentacles and the page of swords. Okay. Somebody's very independent. Okay. Built themselves up. Okay. We have this lady in red. Okay. Page of swords. What's going on here? Okay, we got the four of cups. Okay, yeah, so the devil. All right, so <clears throat> either it's like somebody here is trying to hold on to something because they love the person. Knight of cups here, yeah, okay. Seven of swords. It's a lot of sneakiness and shit like that going on. I feel like the devil is telling somebody to go about doing, handling this situation in the wrong way. You get what I'm saying? Like if you're heart is somewhere then why are you also not there that doesn't make any sense and if you are where your heart is then okay by all means it's other situations so it's like you have to pick and choose what it is you want to do or there's going to be a lot of karma that comes around here so we have temperance okay three of cups okay so there's reunion energy celebratory energy okay on the board 
we have the nine of swords okay yeah so this is what you're worried about you're like okay am i going to get that is that possible the sun card is here yes okay happiness success ten of cups reunion energy like i said with your empress or the empress with the emperor whichever way it goes it's divine counterparts here and if you're worried that you're going to fall on your face or it's not going to work out well or anything that you worried about temperance is divine timing it was meant to happen like this exactly as it is happening exactly with who it was it's happening with whatever transpired thus far was supposed to transpire like i don't understand what you're feeling bad about we have the knight of what is this swords no the knight of wands the four swords okay <clears throat> for our capricorns what are the messages please we have the Knight of Pentacles, the Star card. All right, so take your time. Somebody could have to do some inner child healing here, okay? You could have fear of abandonment, fear of rejection, anything like that you might need to heal. But you're going in the direction of your North Node, uh, your purpose, what you're meant to be doing, what you always were meant to be doing. All right, something is fate, something is destiny. So as far as you feeling bad, guilty, or any of that, I'm not really sure why, okay? But <clears throat> once again, that could just be the devil playing tricks on you. Okay, let us see for our Capricorns. Oh boy. We have Mercury retrograde, okay? So it says electronic issues, communication issues, okay? Also, when it comes to travel and things like that. So just be mindful, be careful, double, triple check everything. Um, pay attention to how you're expressing yourself or how it is that you're communicating, okay? Ooh, and what is this? Sheesh. We have commitment, okay? Things are getting serious, all right? So mm, it says make room for the new beginning on its way to you. Like I said, it has to be some sort of abrupt ending in order for this brand new beginning to really take place the way that it's supposed to, all right? But if this was your reading or you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. In addition, I'm clearly talking to some twin flames. So, hey, girl, hey, hey, boy, what up? You guys are more than welcome to join me in the Divine Feminine um, Masculine readings, okay? I do them every day. So, if you have not already checked out some of those, please do. I'll speak to you guys soon. Peace and hair grease.